tutorial on how to use the basics of 3D modeling in Tinkercad. You're gonna go ahead and head to tinkercad.com. Um, if you don't have an account yet, you can click join. As an educator, you can sign in with Google. Uh, if you're already signed into the computer, it'll bring you to this screen. There's a lot of cool things on Tinkercad, like circuits and code blocks, as well as some lessons that you can learn. Today, we're just gonna be sticking to create new design in their 3D modeling platform. Uh, some real quick things here. This is a way that you can introduce uh, Tinkercad to students with it being really low stakes, just purely exploration try things out, explore. You have on the left-hand side here, the navigation panel. If you click and drag your box, you can move your viewpoint around. You can zoom in with the plus, you can zoom out with the minus. And let's say you get lost somewhere, you can always hit the home button to come back normal. With the mouse, you can do the same thing with the scroll wheel, zoom in and out. With the right click and drag, you can move things around as well and pan. All right, so you're going to build a, your dream home today. We're going to go ahead and bring uh, any shape that you want here for your base of your house. You can manipulate the shape by dragging the corners. You can also manipulate the height here. Once you have your basic shape there, you're going to go ahead and give your, your house a roof if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do a triangular prism there, or pyramid, I should say. And now you notice it's kind of hanging at the same place. To bring it up, you're going to click on that cone button to bring it up to where you want it. Last little trick I'm gonna show you here is these, the hole here, this box with the hole, you can do it with the cylinder, you can actually do it with any shape you want. Just by, instead of changing the color here on this menu, you click hole. And then anytime a shape like this interacts with another shape, for example here, if you select both of them by clicking and dragging and grouping them together, it will actually tell the computer, hey, I want you to put a hole in this other object, something like that, okay? Now, once you finish that, you can go ahead and try out um, some other stuff, clicking, creating more uh, uh, objects in your scene, creating a tree, or you could maybe create a whole block. There are other nav um, other options here, such as creatures. You can bring in your own little people onto the scene as well, so you can have some fun exploring. All right. Hope you guys have a good time.